Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rockham Sakura. Today I'm joined by my extra special guest, the amazing and the beautiful... Cash Monet! Oh! Oh! Uh, you guys might be able to tell, but we're not at Cash's house today. We are in one of the most, one of my most favorite places in the whole world. You know, some people say that their home of their loved ones, libraries, whatever, their safe spaces. This is my safe space. Today we're here in Happy Lemon. For those of you guys that don't know, Happy Lemon is one of the quintessential um, boba tea places here in the Bay Area. Uh, I think one of the highlights of our lives was when Happy Lemon opened up in San Francisco. Oh my gosh. So it opened a few months ago and every single day I went. True. And I kept on tagging them on Instagram. And then somebody from Happy Lemon's like, hey, can you please stop tagging us in things? <laughs> Happy Lemon contacted us and they said, hey, we love that you keep tagging us. Did you guys want to try um, our menu? We're going to leave here with no tea. I will sacrifice my enamel. Yeah. To try a whole menu of anything, really. Last time we were in San Jose, we had boba. And oh yeah, and we were both in drag. And yeah, we were both in drag. Why? Hey, hey, Tiffany was there. Tiffany was there too. One, two, go. Whoa, oh my! <laughs> Splash zone. <laughs> Passion fruit mango green tea. green tea. My favorite one that I always get, which is the boba milk with puff cream, and they they, they smear the puff cream on the side. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. drink one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's good. It's mm. tart. Do you normally get 100%, 50%, 25% sweetness? I always say when I have a partner, they can call me their um, light ice 25% milk tea boba. That's why you're single. 300% sweetness, okay? <laughs> I want to take one sip. I want to see God. The prophecy is true. Because boba is such a quintessential part in Asian culture, especially Asian culture here in the Bay Area mm -hmm. too. Anime culture, K-pop culture, and gay culture too always ends with a boba at the end of an outing. You know how many times I've seen Tiffany just like wilding out to K-pop songs in public? <laughs> She's like... <laughs> so the next one I have right here is the Oreo milk tea with puff cream. Yes. I have to say I've never tried an Oreo drink in a boba place before and this is my first time. And then right here I have the green tea salted cheese Tiramisu. Feels like I had milk tea and I dropped in like five or six Oreos beforehand and then I'm drinking it now. Um, this one is very good. I can taste the matcha hitting the dangly thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> milk tea has really just like made its way into mainstream culture recently. Thank God. Finally. <laughs> For ranking, rank like boba, bubble tea, Pearls, like as far as the name. On top yeah. is boba. Same. On top is boba. The bottom uh, is definitely bubble tea. Because if anyone <laughs> says bubble tea, they're not even taking the effort to even try and say a word that is outside of the English language. So my next one is mango boba green tea. And this one's a little bit different because the boba in it are flavored mango. And then I have uh, the strawberry green tea. Um, so this is actually something I would never order because you know when you go to a boba place, you have like your top choice and then you have your second choice. All right, cheers. Cheers. Wow, look, we get vitamin C today. I know. This is so much better than going to a bar, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna be awake. I can taste the green tea already. Mm -hmm. 12 hours on Reddit tonight. Ooh. <laughs> Confessions. <laughs> Everything on the menu has always given me that essence of like, it's more refreshing than it is heavy. It has like fresh strawberries in it. And it's it's a nice change from uh, from boba. Mm -hmm. Is there an American version of boba? Is there a drink that Americans drink that they smoothies? put stuff in it? Smooth, that is smoothies. It, it is smoothies, isn't it? Milkshake. Coffee? Yeah. It's like a melted acai bowl. Oh. oh See, okay. we just gotta destroy everything that they love. <laughs> when I drink this, it's like my past self saying, you're a weeaboo. Every time I would go to Fanime, because I go to anime convention every year, be get your badge, go to the swap meet, and then get yourself some boba. And you know those boba shops, like during the con season time, they're like waiting for it. Uh, so our next item is going to be a boba milk tea cake. And yeah, look at that. It's so jiggly. This is what I want my ass to look like. I've never <laughs> seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this Cheers. Either. 
we have Cheers. to test these. Ooh, look at this, how thick this cream oh is. Oh my gosh. It looks like a boba tiramisu. <gasps> oh my god, cash. I know. <laughs> I wanted everything. Mmm. Mmm. Like roasty? Is that? Is it tea cake? Yeah, it's Earl Grey oh. cake. Oh, it's Earl Grey oh. cake. Oh, damn, salty we're gonna too. be up for days. You know, boba places, their food is typically like spam masubi. I like the boba places that also they have that one item where it's like, where are you keeping that? I went to a boba place and there were like fresh oysters. And I was like, in that kitchen? <laughs> where? Have you ever had the time where like you go to like an all you can eat and then after you're there with your friends, you're like, do you guys want boba? Like you could be on the verge of death and one more piece of meat is going to make you your whole life end. But there's always time and space for boba. There's always time. There's always <laughs> time for a boba. <laughs> you know when boba places add a new item to the menu? People always go crazy for it. Rolled ice cream. No, oh, roll was, Go to Cold Stone. You ever seen those videos? It's like the guy's doing it for three yeah. hours. The girl is doing it and then her arms are just like Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not a fruit cake. Um, this is actually their new meat floss cake. Meat floss cake. For some of you guys out there, it might sound a little bit daunting. It might sound a little bit strange, but here's the thing. If you're Asian, you know exactly what everything here is. So it's dried pork that's pulled to almost like a string consistency. And it looks like there's almost like a cake underneath it. Let's try it and then we'll ask what's inside. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Elbows. Mmm. 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 Ooh. A caramelized meat floss. It's so good. It's oh so God. savory. The pastries you can get at Chinese bakeries. Oh yeah. They have the meat floss on top. When you were a kid, did you have meat floss in your house? Um, I did, and then every time I would bite into it, I would accidentally inhale it. <laughs> of oh. course! Me too! <laughs> Which one do you like better? Do you like the boba cake, or do you like the meat floss cake? I actually do like this one. Do you like this one better? Yeah. I, think I like I the like... savoriness of the, I like the pork leg last one. I like the, I like the boba one a little bit better, just because I like the combination of sweet and salty, too. And it's also something that I could see myself drinking with like a more mild tea or even a hot tea. It's called the meat floss cake. Oh, no. See? Yeah. Um, they them? do that all the time. I'm so sorry. Really Everyone at home. Yeah. We're 28 and on TikTok, Lots so follow us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm having the Okinawa brown sugar milk tea. So this one's just a milk tea with salted cheese. And I was, I was about to say this really just reminds me of just like a boba place in general. Milk tea is just one of those flavors that is just like, when it hits you, it, it makes you feel like, are you okay? It's, I'm feeling that. <laughs> yeah, see, Whatever. this is what boba is supposed to taste mm -hmm. like. This is probably my maybe 10th time in the Happy Lemon because San Francisco doesn't have it. Well, they do now. Is it one of the two locations that are in San Francisco? You won't regret it. The one in the financial district and the other one is in Mission Bay. And one more coming. One Where? more! What? Salesforce? Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Salesforce? Woo! Oh my god. Yeah. I would, you, have you ever wanted to just be the campaign girl for like a boba place yes. or a sushi place? Take a drink and then like it's in a commercial, you'll have to go. What if I'm like walking away? I'm like, I'm walking away <laughs> and then and then the person that I like is like, I remember my earliest memories of having boba in San Francisco. It was a dollar and ninety cents. It was self serve. Yeah. So <laughs> we used to work there. Used to work there. Yeah. Oh, so oh, bad. Was it bad? We never washed the barrels, so it was like. Hey, yeah. Don't tell me that. a week, okay? Yeah. That one dollar was going to that half cup of yeah, yeah. semi-cooked boba yeah. and that five gallon bucket. Okay, so before we get to our last drink, let's go ahead and try one of the quintessential things at any boba place, which is the egg puffs. I've never had these with dipping sauce. Puff cream. Wait, what's your glove off? Because I'm about to touch these. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should do that too. I have salted cheese and then you have puff cream. And you have salted cheese. Salted cheese. <laughs> but I have puff cream. Okay, so this is the regular, um, this is, these are the regular um, bubble waffles, and these are chocolate bubble waffles. Oh. When these first came out, Cocoa Pebbles. Oh. They smelled like Cocoa Pebbles. Ooh, it smelled so good. There's a thing on the other side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I just had it like that. Let's try one without the cream first. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's good. Mmm, how's yours? Woo! Ooh. That's really good. The puff cream is really, really good with these. Do you normally have these? Like, you can ask for it or it comes with one of these. So if you get one of these, ask for puff cream on the side because this is really good. Okay, the, upon suggestion by the amazing staff, they've told me to dip this into the Oreo one. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really good. Oh, Out of the two, which ones? Oh, chocolate for sure. Chocolate for sure. And these are really good How too. How do I take this with me? <laughs> Obviously, we've been saving our favorite drinks for last. So uh, let's go ahead and try our last drinks oh and God. wrap up this video. Um, I'm shaking my, already. My happy lemon is showing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited right now. <laughs> so this one is a dragon fruit lychee with house, uh, house cream on top. And the dragon fruit is imported from Taiwan. The green tea, freshly squeezed lemon, which is the fruits are also from Taiwan. I did not know that. Mm. Cheers. Oh, it's so nice. Ow. Mm. Ooh. The lemon is like the star of the show here at this establishment. Ooh. Fresh, like refreshing and imported from Taiwan apparently. I really did not know I that. I did not know that. That's amazing. Good. So yeah, what does it taste like? Like can you describe what it tastes like? Fresh dragon fruit. It's like a mild flavor and it's like somewhat creamy because of the house cream on top. Um, and the lychee is, isn't overly sweet. This color palette is exactly the same color as your name. See, oh, isn't this aesthetic right now? Three, two. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't say that in the video. Okay, out of all of these, which one is, I mean, obviously that one's I mean, your favorite. I've had this one before, but one of the newer drinks, I actually do like the strawberry one. Uh, I just like the fresh fruit. The fresh fruit mm -hmm. is really yeah. what gets me. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you? What is your yeah, favorite? What? <laughs> yeah. What? What's your favorite? Oh, okay. My favorite one is the uh, the passion fruit one from the beginning with the fresh passion fruit from Taiwan. No, oh, she said it. She made sure that I knew it was from Taiwan. I'm never gonna forget. People ask what Happy Lemon is all about. I'm gonna say, hey, they import this stuff from Taiwan. They got a lot of lemon. There's lots of caffeine and everything too, and it was really good. Um, it's nice and light and refreshing. This one, this passion fruit tea is really good. And it's just, I've never really tasted anything like this before. And I think I'm gonna prove it. It's nice. Woo! Okay. Lots of cream, lots of boba, lots of uh, caffeine, um, lots of fruits imported from, for our pleasure. From Taiwan. From Taiwan. Boba is an experience. It's half taste and half aesthetic. Cash Monet. Yes. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome Cash Monet. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Oh my God, thank you for having me. I am full to the brim of Happy Lemon. If you guys like this video, please make sure to go down below, leave a comment, um, any other places that you'd like for us to try. Uh, if you work anywhere and you're a PR person, come in contact with me, send me a DM, who knows? You work at, you work at a, a spaghetti factory, you wanna get me a spaghetti drunk? O'Reilly's Auto Parts. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't have a mattress. If anyone works at Sleep Train, you know, two, two. <laughs> um, so yeah, like this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you want to support us on this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Oh, cash, all of these one, oh my God, all of uh. these people are responsible for helping support this channel and helping us grow. Support Cash, obviously, because she's one of the edits, she's, the editors are one of the main life forces of this channel. Patreon essentially helps Oh, it helps for her. a lot. My ex-boyfriend, when he was sleeping, I used to sneeze in his mouth. I want my mother's womb to go. It feels like my teeth are breaking. For my OnlyFans, <laughs> I'm gonna sell my socks. So please, consider it. Also too, if you'd like to support me, you can also order your very own Cameo or get your very own merch from rock'emsoccer.com. And last but not least, thank you so much to everyone at Happy Lemon for having us here today. We're, we were so happy to just film in one of your wonderful stores, try all of your beautiful products. Thank you so, so, so much for having us. And be sure to check out their locations in San Francisco, all three locations, 
and all the locations in the Bay Area. You might see us there. Yeah. Obviously, obviously you might see us there. And with that, we're gonna have to say, talk, talk to you later. later. Bye. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna literally pick up a boulder and throw it. <laughs>